the construction company responsible for building the new National Children's Hospital has hit back at Minister of Health Stephen Donnelly's claims that they are holding the state to ransom. It follows allegations by the health minister that the company were resourcing the project at less than half of what was required. He also accused them of attempting to extract as much money from the Irish taxpayer as possible. The comments which were revealed by the Sunday Independent have been described by BAM as misleading, ill-informed and incorrect. This is a project that the government have lost control over and now what we have is open warfare between the board who are developing the hospital on the one hand and the main contractor and I would say the truth is somewhere in the middle pattern and all of this. The, the contractor is saying that there's been 24,000 design changes since the original contract that's delaying the project and now we have uh, the board saying that the contractor is not deploying the appropriate resources and as the minister is alleging trying to extract money from the state mm. the reality is that the government have taken a hands off approach this has been a crisis for nine years the minister should be holding weekly meetings with the board because what the minister gets and what the government gets before they sign any checks is a programme of works update and they've got many of them that sets out what the final cost will be what the estimated completion date will be and they and keep writing what, that cheque they do and then but what it also includes is what resources are needed and need to be deployed to meet all of the targets set in that programme now BAM are denying that they've under-resourced the project they say they've enough people and anyone who's built a house or even an extension knows that you know you can't really have the joiner the kitchen installer the plumber the electrician all in the small space at the one time. You know, that it's not necessarily possible to throw loads of workers at a, a project because they get in each other's way. And You've got to phase everything. Yes, it's not just one contractor. There are multiple contractors. There's an engineering contractor, a mechanical contractor. The main contractor is BAM. But my point is that we have this he said, she said, this war of words now between the board and the contractor. And all the while, the minister is sitting on his hands. He's taking a hands-off approach. My point about the programme of works update is that that sets out what resources are required, what manpower, what human resources are deployed to meet the targets which are set in that programme of work updates. But the minister doesn't, uh, you know, he'll pardon me saying this, know enough about it. I mean, no, you, but you, you, my you don't actually, the minister can't be master of the detail of I, this. I'm not, saying the minister, board who, I'm not saying the minister should be the master of the detail. I'm saying, Pat, that given the level of crisis in relation to this hospital, given all of the cost overruns, given all of the completion dates which have come and gone, the minister needs to be holding the board to account on a weekly basis and seeking updates. So if I was the Minister for Health, I'd be saying, hang on a second here, I have a programme of work updates. It said that X number of resources are going to be deployed. Have they been deployed this week, last week, last month? That's the level of oversight that we need because there has to be political accountability. The Minister and the Government signed off on €500 million Euro more of taxpayers' money and there is no doubt this will cost more. I also read the statement from BAM where it says that the conciliator awarded them an additional €107 million Euro because yeah. of some of the delays and the design changes. So this and that's, is going isn't to that being us. challenged by the, the board? Yes, and I think ultimately the board told us when they were before the Oireachtas Health Committee and they will, they will be before the committee again this Wednesday that uh, they will see the contractor in court. So ultimately I think the final cost of this will be decided by the High Court, I would imagine. But at this point in time, the real victims here are children, Pat. We have to first of all understand what this is. It's a new national children's hospital. We have children with scoliosis and spina bifida who need the additional capacity. We have children who had their procedures cancelled last year because of lack of capacity in the clash between scheduled and unscheduled care. I want that hospital built as quickly as possible. We're now being told that not a single child will be treated in that hospital until at the earliest 2026. We know it's going to take about nine months to commission the hospital once the handover is done. So the losers in this are the taxpayer and the children. The minister needs to not take a hands-off approach, get actively involved, and rather than commentating, which he has done, on what the board are doing or what BAM is doing, they signed the cheques. They have to take responsibility. And as I said, the Taoiseach's comments are laughable. I mean, the Taoiseach saying this state is not a pushover when we signed an, a contract that had no design in it. We've we've paid a billion euro or more over the odds, 1.5 billion uh, exactly. Uh, and also a bike shed that cost 330,000 euro. It's laughable. And uh, this government can't build houses, uh, can't build a bike shed and can't build a hospital, oh, quite right. evidently.